I'm Tainari, forest watcher of the Avidya Forest. Alright, what's up doggos? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough. Um, a quick recap because we're going to do Tenari's story in this video. Uh, I'm gonna explain it in Razor language. Uh, Lumine go to Catherine. Catherine say a bad thing happened to Forrest. Catherine say commission give money. So Lumine accept commission to save that Forrest. And uh, yeah, that, that's the extent of it. Now we're gonna go talk to Tenari. Okay, from what I've heard, because I do browse Reddit, often apparently this is one of the saddest quests genshin has ever done now i don't know how i would rate it once i finish it but the saddest moment i've had in this entire experience so far in genshin like it wasn't even surumi island although that is still sad like you know with the story with rue and the thunderbird the sacrifices and everything it was in perilous trails as you guys have probably seen if you watched that video in the final cutscene, where it it retells the story, the final moments of Boyang and um, Bosatius down in the chasm, locked away and you know just dying there. That's just, that is what got me. At least tell me your name. Brother, brother Bosatius. <laughs> hey, Bosatius. Bosatius. Okay, oh, that's got me. It's. Ooh, it's gonna be a little teary-eyed. Well, cry afterwards during editing. I've also seen on YouTube that this has also been labeled as the saddest cutscene in Genshin Impact. Maybe that's just like, you know, the big caps, cap letters to draw in attention. But that has actually hooked my curiosity, so... This is where you've been, Kainari? Hmm, that's... That's a kiss. Shh, keep your voice down. Oh, did he... Was did a withering... Tainari, everything's spinning. Am I going to die? <laughs> tell mom that I should have listened to her. Okay, I can already tell why this is the saddest. And tell Suna that I'm sorry for breaking her toy. Hey, hey Yara, Yara, come on, listen to me. I was man. scared that she wouldn't play with me anymore. You're gonna be fine, Tainari's gonna think of a way. Tainari? I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I feel like I'm getting lighter. What happened? Tainari, is he? Okay, okay, enough nonsense. You just have a small fever. Take your medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Really? Then... Can you keep the thing about the toy a secret yeah, for yeah, now? Yeah. No can do. Mm. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't Responsible solve Responsible for a stranger. Hey, let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. The withering. How did you get this sick all of a sudden? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. It's different from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. After I got out, I, I started feeling dizzy. Could it be? The contaminated region. Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so, got it? Traveler, Paimon, let's step out for now. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I gave him some anti-pyretics. Let him rest here for a while. What's that? I told him that he would feel better after some medicine and rest, but I only said that to comfort him. Oh. His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. Mm. They seem more akin to a disruption in his psyche. Anti-pyretics won't be of much use. Oh, it's still what do bad, we do? Huh? Mr. Forest Watcher, you have to help him. If memory serves, a plant called Vasanti grass can help soothe the mind. A small number grow in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled uh -huh. weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. 
They're expensive oh, and unable to grow in the Avidya forest's climate, so I don't have any on hand. I'll ask the caravans. Go find Kale, have her prepare medicinal tools, and a set of traveling gear for me. Oh, All right. we're going... we're going venturing. Contaminated region, huh? Is that why you two are also here? Is it a new withering zone? Doesn't seem like one. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance mm. made itself home in the Avidya forest, so I can't yeah, turn Yeah, but we saw like, like a whole region that's literally just decomposed in the trailer. So, like, maybe there's this region. Either we're able to, like, we have to do huge amounts of, like, curing with all the dendro garna, dharma, or it's unrecoverable and we can't really salvage it. It's it's just what supposed to be avoided. Let's contact the caravans first and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask about the contaminated region. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Okay, what am I here? Excuse me, I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Down. Do you have any? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but oh, we've been closed for the past few shaggy. days. Closed? Now that's odd. It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some of our goods were stolen recently. All right, we'll just get it back. They were mechanical parts that we got from the academia. Although they're old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short How did you lose it? We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Anyone who goes in experiences mental anomalies. We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. All we could do is come up with another solution. So the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts. Okay, so he's probably, like, insane at this point. Total? Were they not affected by the contaminated region? That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many, uh, there weren't any people. No people? Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, oh, fine. The thief that stole our parts was a huge mechanical crab. Does the crab by any chance resemble a ruin machine? And is it white in color? Is it that crab? Didn't see any in the Avidia Forest Field Guide. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not think about mm. it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It came out of nowhere. Interesting. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. What? What would it need we it? What need that for? By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course! Uh, not only that, but you'll become one of our caravan's VIPs oh, yeah. on all future purchases <laughs> of any... Uh, Enough. <laughs> Tell me something that's actually useful. <laughs> any leads like, on that mechanical bro, crab? The bowl crap. Maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. A if you're interested, you a can sage. go and talk to them. Uh, all right. We'll go and have a word. After the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. Mm. It turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. However, the crab only seems to be interested in machinery. Right. It doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. What's it? What's it? What? Is it trying to the build something? carrying a large amount of more had an uneventful trip, but another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Mm. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. We don't yeah, normally don't see the mechanical, mechanical part. crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's right. done making a mess. You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. That thing? Mm, the most agile I've seen those types of enemies is doing a leap, I guess. And otherwise, it's just putting up a shield and shooting one single laser beam. Not the we brightest. We did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. Oh yeah, what's it that? It apparently lives in the deepest part of the forest, 
So instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Huh. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll have to move fast if you want those goods back. I feel like someone's remote controlling this thing like a drone. I mean, on its own, it's not like the most capable. That mechanical crab bastards. is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. Didn't the academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ah, mm. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? Right. This is rough. Hey, they don't have me here for nothing. We're gonna solve all of Sumeru's problems, just like we did with every other region. Rinse and repeat, baby. We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things. Or the more I you made, that would be the most efficient method. You, you don't know what they see as valuable. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. Right. It's really weird. So you all found a way to retrieve our goods? We'll just go to the region. Do you have any more mechanical parts with you? Oh, yes, we're lower I it out. still like have a small bag of samples. Eight. They weren't taken since I keep them on me at mm. all times. Oh, are you planning to... Yeah, 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 we're planning to do that. If we have said components, we can lure it out, capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Mm. Mm. Well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. Mm, look at the shaggy. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is oh, all yours, okay. Mr. Forest Watcher. If you can get our goods back, the caravans will reward you generously. All right. We don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. We'll also need to borrow a sumter beast. Uh. Our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Hey, we get a shaggy? We get our oh, own shaggy? Yeah, no problem at all. If it means getting our things back, you can even borrow me to do whatever you need. <laughs> okay. I'll have to decline that offer. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll use the mechanical components and Sumter Beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab. All right. Once it appears, capture it. I leave the timing to you. Sure, my timing is impeccable. Looking at the trade routes and the contaminated region's current perimeter, the goods were likely it's stolen somewhere around here. Then let's get to it! We'll definitely capture that criminal crab! Okay. We'll start from here and have the Sumter Beast with the components on board lead the way. This Sumter Beast isn't familiar with us yet, mm -hmm. so be calm and take your time with it. Hey, Shaggy. Oh, oh look at the big guy. Let's keep up with it. Look at the big guy. Ooh, you're so good. You're so good. Who's a good guy? Who's a good Sumter Beast? Who's a good Shaggy? You are! Oh, that's adorable. A massive cinnamon roll. Yo! Yo, look at him go! Oh! Oh, he's running! Mock something! I don't know! Okay, okay, you just ran a short... There it is. Don't tell me it has its own language. We have enough languages in this thing already. Oh, it looks kind of worn down, actually. Uh, did you hear something? It looks strong. Be careful. Are we actually going to fight it? Oh, okay. Mechanical crab. So dubbed the component thief. See, your usual moveset is just that. So I don't. I just can't imagine you being that all that capable. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Huh. Just try to escape this time, you naughty caravan robbing crab. That was easy. What, what, what are you hey, playing gum won't save you. Spill it. Why are you stealing so many mechanical parts? It doesn't seem to understand us. Hmm, it doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. It's sentient. Keep it on. Well, I mean, I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. After some searching, t finds the goods that the mechanical crabs <sighs> stole. I don't know why you're stealing mechanical parts, um. but they don't belong to you. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. Any uh -huh. objections? Does it? Looks. Oh, 
It looks sad. You came from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? Are we actually making a deal with one of these things? If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. It reacted! Does it understand us? Hmm, we can't be certain yet. Its excitement may be a simple programmed response <laughs> upon seeing mechanical components. The constant bopping of its head. <laughs> okay. So you want the crowd to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. If we charge straight in, we'll get lost like headless pigeons. Also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. Well, not me, because I have TP waypoints, so... I've been studying this contaminated region recently, mm. and I have a hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. Okay, I sure. It now. Um, does this scuttler understand what you're saying? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. I gave it some components that it will definitely mm, take back to the contaminated right. region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. Hello. It seems to be really happy. Listen to me. Wait for us here. No running off. Okay. We'll be back soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you uh, another mechanical part as a reward. Like Understood? A, like a pet. Okay, okay. Does that count as understanding us? I'm not sure. But our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Vasanti grass to make medicine with. Right, we should right. return. But before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. Hello. The mechanical crab looks quite well behaved and does not intend to run away. Okay. <laughs> oh! Oh! These are the mechanical parts that were stolen! You really got them back for us! I'm assuming it's the whole box, because there's no way he's excited by only two pieces. Oh, thank you all so very much. I don't know how I can repay you. Can I keep the shaggy? Wait, didn't you want to purchase Vasanti grass? Right. Uh, don't worry about the price. They're on the house. How many do you need? Two is enough. No, that won't do. Here. I'll throw in some more. Yeah, he's not going to take that. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, they aren't worth much compared to this oh, merchandise. but it's worth for research. But those parts are very useful to me. Exactly. Just like the Vasanti grass. You need to know more I about this. I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. Oh, and before we go, just mm -hmm. a reminder, the forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other dangers are still present. Right. Take caution on this route. Noted. Thank you all ever so much. Let's return to the village. The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better. Oh! Hi there, Traveler and Paimon! Hello, colleague. Master! I prepared the pharmaceutical equipment. Do you need me to help grind the medicine? No need. A precise dosage is required this time. So I'll do it myself. Oh. Okay. But once I'm done, you can deliver the medication to the child. Hey, there we go. He gets a little nervous when I'm around for too long. I don't think he finds me there. Yeah, very you're, you're, you're the serious type. I'll go prepare the medication. Traveler, give me a hand. Alright. After you and Tanari prepare the medicine, Kale gives it to Yara. How is he? Doing any better? <sighs> I feel like he's doing a lot better. And his temperature is returning to normal. Don't go running off now, you. It's wonderful. These things don't come in cheap, probably. Oh, yeah. He asked me to tell you that Suna came by earlier. And he told her everything about the toy. Mm. Suna didn't get mad, so he wanted to thank you. Uh, can I ask what happened? It's nothing. Did you prepare the traveling gear I asked you to? Of course I did. Are you going somewhere far away? Across the map. So I'd say yes. yes. We're going to the contaminated region. Judging by its size, we will likely have to stay overnight. I'm leaving everything to you while I'm gone. Whoa. Huh? But I, uh, I can't even Fine begin to compare calling. to you. Many things are learned by doing. And once they've been done, you'll realize they weren't as difficult as you once thought they were. I trust Gondarville will be fine in your care. Deal with problems as you yourself see fit. Exactly. You don't have to emulate me. Great, Kale. Alright, then I'll do my best. Nice. Master, 
Traveler, Paimon, take care of yourselves. Don't worry, everything will be fun with Tiknadi around. You put too much confidence in me. Anyway, like you hey, said, things pro. will likely be uneventful. Let's return and find that crab. Uneventful? Yeah, you, the people don't write, rate an uneventful story quest as one of the saddest for no reason. Okay, I do hope you've kept your word, Krabby. It's... Ah, <laughs> it's resting. He's turned back into a cube again. You know, these things remind me of Bakugan for some reason. They're like, they're, there's like square Bakugans as well. Hey, there it is. It's here. You honored our agreement and waited here until we returned. As such, I'll hold up my end and give you another mechanical part. Keep it safe. I'm not giving you another one if you lose it. Glad you're satisfied. If you want more mechanical parts, take us deeper into the contaminated region. Keep your promise now. I want to see what happened there. What caused the this music is forest pretty... to become like this? Ominous too. Oh, oh, oh that Sumeru Rose is glowing. So this is the contaminated region that everyone's been talking about. Oh, it definitely looks different from normal. It's like really creepy and suffocating. Do you feel unwell at all? Doing fine so far. Good. It's as I predicted. Elemental power confers a degree of resistance against the contaminated region's influence. How do you know that? I haven't entered the contaminated region for a proper investigation, but I've conducted quite a few controlled experiments. My observations during our time here have all but confirmed my hypothesis. Look at these flowers. How are they different from normal? They're more colorful. They, they're brighter. This flower species is formally known as the Sumeru Rose, but it is also oh. known as the Ley Line Lodestar. Lodestar. They're sensitive to ley lines and emit varying amounts of light in response. Mm. Excessive brightness indicates a dangerous level of ley line activity in the surrounding area. Oh. From the looks of things, the ley lines around here are already out of control. You're saying the contamination here is coming from ley lines? I can't confirm that Ooh, right now. That, that's not good. But I think that is the case. The last time ley lines were unstable, um, it's either sky frost nails or. You know, we haven't seen any animals this entire time. The birds used to chirp really loudly, and there were a lot of foxes. This contaminated region currently appears to have a critical efflux of ley line energy, which is probably the root cause of the patient's cognitive disturbances. Mm. Some animals have keen awareness. They sensed something abnormal in this area and fled. Good on them. Leaky ley line sure can cause a lot of damage, huh? Like how plants have preferred growth conditions, we also gradually habituate to our surrounding environment, climate, temperature, humidity, intensity of ley line energies. When people live under fixed conditions, they reach a sort of homeostasis with their environment. This equilibrium is broken when the surrounding environment abruptly changes, causing people's bodies to react in abnormal ways. If normal fluctuations in temperature occur, then our bodies automatically adjust. However, the average person cannot adapt to changes in ley line energy, and so they fall ill. Oh, I see. Then why are we okay? I'm not sure why you are, but she and I are fine because our elemental capabilities allow us to adapt to this kind of change. Mm. Sussy, of course, on. it's not a good idea to spend too much time in areas with concentrated ley line energy. The only one who can freely traverse this place is probably the mechanical crab. <laughs> That's about it for the investigation. Help me find an open space. I want to test something. Environment, no wind. Target parameters, normal. Setup complete. Excellent. Looks like it's working. The hell is this? A purification device that I made. It can absorb excess ley line energy and temporarily stabilize an area. Oh. What a neat thing. Let's set up more and cover the entire region. I wouldn't mind if that would actually work. Unfortunately, once this contamination is present, it's only temporary. it isn't something that a few purification devices can fix. The purification devices have their limits. Mm. At best, they can only prevent the contaminated region from expanding temporarily. 
if we want to permanently eradicate the contamination from the ley line effluents, we'll need to tackle the source. At the heart of the contaminated region. That's right. Oh, whoa, whoa. Huh? The mechanical crab is acting a little strange. Why are your defenses up? Something's approaching. So that's it. Spinal now crocodile. that the ley line energy has stabilized, the monsters that had left are starting to return. Get rid of them quickly. Don't let them get close to the purification device. Hey, uh, more meat for me, you know. <laughs> oh, no meat? Alright, fine. Oh, there's a guy in here? Oh, okay. I hope you're mentally stable. <laughs> spare me! Please spare me! Hey, are you okay? These injuries are superficial. Don't move, I'll patch you up. <laughs> Who are you all? What happened to those mechanical monsters? Don't worry, we took care of them. Oh, good. <laughs> you better leave the reason. <laughs> That's uh, good. Yeah, you're, you're, you're. Oh, yeah, he's gonna freak out with that. Uh, it's a monster! <laughs> Hurry, attack it! How do we explain this? Uh, Krabby here isn't a bad guy. It heard you shouting for help and brought us here to rescue you. <laughs> it's faking it. It has to be! Maybe it's gonna partner up with the other mechanical monsters and kill me! Do you know what's inside the forest? It's all... It's, it's all crawling with mechanical freaks! Huh. I just came here to pick herbs, but I accidentally went to the contaminated region and almost died. Hmm. I gotta get out of here. Oh, yes. Yes. I have to escape. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of gone. These mechanical life forms are up to no good. It'd be best if you stayed far, far away from he's them. He's been exposed to it for too long. Uh, no wonder the academia wanted to completely help. ban the existence of mechanical life forms. Uh, those things should be annihilated. Uh, are you okay? His inarticulate speech and bodily tremors indicate psyche disruption. He's been inside the contaminated region for too long. Yeah. We've purified the ley line energy over there. Follow this path out and you'll soon see the village. At that point, someone will bring him to Kale for help. I already prepared medication that will return him to normal. It looks like it's expecting something. Hmm. So you think you did a good job and want a part as your reward? It's so hard to understand. All right, regardless of what you're thinking, you did some real good this time. That's why I'll give you another mechanical part. Need any help with it? Uh, Guess not. Well, make sure to hang on to it. <sighs> nodding in going like through your owner's mind when he made you, I wonder. You're like a giant mechanical crab on the outside and a fluffy little hamster on the inside. <laughs> exactly. And also how do you feel about that person saying that you're as evil as the other mechanical life forms? Okay, it definitely doesn't understand you. Mm -hmm. It seems like it possesses limited understanding only towards matters right. related to mechanical components. That ain't confusing at all. Help others to get parts. That's probably its thought process. As for why it, rather its owner, is collecting so many components, I'm not sure. It's getting late, so let's set up camp for the night. We'll explore further tomorrow, after a night's rest. All right. Come on, you big lummox, raise your head and look up. Bruh. Let's set up camp here. All right, Paimon also thinks it's a good spot. Oh, any particular reason? This place is perfect to put up a big tent. We can also set up a cooking pot and cook tons of delicious uh, yeah, food. Yeah, a very Paimon reason. You're not wrong. But the primary reason for choosing this place is because its higher elevation keeps us away from the water vapor below. Mm, is that what spreads the ley lines? Rainforests are very wet, 
You should always be careful when spending the night in damp places. For the next tasks at hand, let's divide and conquer. I'll set up the tent, you'll be in charge of making the fire, and Paimon will forage for edibles nearby. Leave it to Paimon. Paimon's a pro. Yeah, she knows one tastes good. I'm not expecting that much. Just do what you can. Thanks to Tikhanari's guidance, you safely start a fire. That's right. You can use rushes to start a fire in the wilderness. Their pits are relatively dry and can be readily set aflame. The downside is that they produce a lot of smoke. <laughs> Traveler, Tainari, mm. <laughs> I couldn't find any food. Paimon didn't know that Rainforest had so many interesting plants until we came here. There were all sort of weird looking mushrooms, but Paimon didn't know which ones were edible. Paimon also saw wild berries on the ground, and Paimon was going to fly over and pick them Those were probably dead leaf butterflies. They camouflage as dead leaves to uh. evade predators. Never mind. The tent's up, so you two go rest. I'll forage for food. Oh! Oh, you found some already. You have my gratitude. It's more useful than Paimon. this time mm. <laughs> that task wasn't important enough if every little thing resulted Damn, in reward, he is strict I'd start to take advantage of the system I'll note little things like this and give a cumulative reward at a later time are you running low on parts <clears throat> that is one reason mm. it looks really sad. Dude, we have tons of st can we just donate some After to this some poor guy thought, it might come up with some weird misunderstanding if I don't give it something. All right, here's another for you. I'm off to prepare dinner. We'll take shifts on lookout duty tonight. You two can sleep first. I'll wake you up later. Paimon's getting sleepy. Uh, oh, is this, this because little, of the ley lines? It's been a while since we camped outside like this. <laughs> this feels like when we just adventuring together mm, without the tape on um, nighty night. Right, why can't we just take him into the tape on it would be much safer I mean that um, uh. mm -hmm. you you're good? awake earlier than I expected did you sleep well very well I was I'm still a little sleepy. You have to maintain constant vigilance in dangerous places like this. Yawning all the time like that is no good. If you can't stay awake, it's okay. Go sleep some more. I'm not tired yet. I can manage. I'm used to staying up all night because many plant and animal music species so can only eerie. observe during nighttime. Speaking of which, have you seen the crab? It was scampering around over there just now, but I don't know where it went. Are you wary of it? So you can tell. My suspicion is less mm. towards the crab and more directed to its unrevealed owner. A ley line effluence of this magnitude occurred without any warning. Someone probably disrupted the natural flow of the ley lines. Until we fully understand Why? the situation, take extra caution. The academia has banned mechanical life form research for years, so the origin of these creatures is very suspect. Banned research, the academia. Previously conducted research on mechanical life forms. Topics related to mechanical life forms were popular in the Spontama for a time. Some of my juniors had also thrown themselves into such research. They proposed an intriguing idea use our knowledge to create a new and practical life form that could help humanity conquer nature. Yeah, just a war machine. However, no matter which modules or parts are installed, a machine is innately mm. a construct that receives They're trying to build an AI. They can never possess self-awareness wow. like us or other living organisms. In their pursuit to discover the differences between mechanical and biological life forms, zealous researchers performed unregulated vivisections and other absurdly cruel experiments on animals. Research on mechanical life forms was thus banned. Wait, so in this case, the owner of this crab succeeded in created AI then, the kind of. 
that the researchers became even more impetuous afterward. Who knows? Maybe this subject will be unbanned in a few years. Do you not like this area of research? Hmm. That's a difficult question to answer. I'm interested in the topic of mechanical life, but I don't like the researchers' attitudes. Anything in particular, or because the conquest of nature is bad? It's just my personal opinion. My ancestors and the hey, Veluka Shuna of the desert coexisted together and supported one another. The blood of my people were born from this symbiotic relationship. So to me, all life is important. To understand life, you must first respect it. Life is not an expendable commodity, and knowledge should not be wielded like a scepter. These are the points of contention I have with some researchers, and why I left the academia. By placing yourself above other life forms, what kind of results do you expect mm. to get from researching pure life with impure intentions? I understand what you mean. Really? Well, I'm glad to hear it. Coffee? Did you prepare this for us? He made coffee? <laughs> What? It looks like it wants a reward again. All right. Seeing that you're working so hard to help Dude, out, we're about to run I'll out, give so. you another part. You're not planning on using it. Many of your own parts are critically degraded, and you're running low on power. All right. Suit yourself. Oh, and thanks for the coffee, but I'm about Next to go Next thing you this guy's about to prepare a whole grand-ass dinner for us. The night watch is yours. Stay safe. Abby? Sorry. I'm unslept through the entire night. It's okay. Your punishment is solo watch duty. <laughs> Don't worry. Paimon will be sure to stay awake next time. Good morning, Traveler and Paimon. Mm. Quick question. Do you feel off at all? I'm a little dizzy. Mm, me too. The farther in we go, the closer we get to the source of the ley line effluence. <sighs> We'll be heading out earlier today. As I thought, the closer we get to the contamination source, the more mechanical monsters that appear. Is, this, is the point of these mechanical pods is for the owner to build more of these guys? Maybe. If so, then why? Maybe the owner is... God damn, can I finish talking? Right, like I was saying, Tainari mentioned that whole thing where those researchers went too far and you know abused life forms to kind of research creating ai and making one to perfection so maybe maybe the owner is one of these researchers who had like their ideas scrapped off it's stopped here ah, another one. upon closer inspection the plants here are really different. It's got a ripple now. Leyline energies are also stronger here. Ooh. This may be the place we've been looking for. Ready yourselves. We're going in. Oh. It's the source of the contamination that lies deep within the forest. Abnormal leyline energy seems to flow out of it. I have every single recommended element. I am prepared, bitch. Okay. Keep up. There's a kind of a pair of monsters here. They make this place their lair. Looks like there's no way to sneak by. Let's take care of them quick. What about here? I can't go. Oh, you see, there's piping now. You hear this music? Ooh. Dang. Kinda of sad. This was the thing from the trailer. The thing that absorbs the leyline energy. What is this? I've never seen a machine like this before. I don't feel too well. Leyline energy is spilling out from here. This device. It's extracting energy from the ley lines without end. Who in the world would do this without considering the consequences? The ley lines won't be able to repair themselves if their flow is perpetually disrupted like this. Right. Is it is it like broken? Oh, That's why the harvested energy. Uh, oh, see I'm starting to get dizzy. Standing here is equivalent to being directly showered in ley line energy, which may cause irreversible damage okay, to gotta your body. Solve, we gotta get get rid Take of this. Take Paimon and get out of here. I'll see if I can find a way to turn this thing off. Hey, Tinari. You're also vulnerable to the ley lines, yeah. right? We're staying. We can't leave you here by yourself. Come on, we're gonna figure this out quick and get the hell out of here. Come on. Then let's look for it together. 
If there is no control unit here, then there must be a trap door somewhere. Oh, okay. He must know. Yes, he's from here. Good crap, good crap. Come on. Disappeared. Uh, What's this? It'll only show up if you step on it. Be careful and watch your step. Whoa. What the? Look, someone's here. Are you the one that's taking the ley lines energy? Turn off that machine now. Why aren't you saying anything? Too ashamed. His body is cold. Is he dead? It's emaciated, and his eyes are sunken. Likely from chronic malnourishment and stress. He collapsed and never got back up. <sighs> Almost forgot about you. Here, this is the last one. What is it doing? Are those like virtual reality goggles? Hmm, I'm not sure. Judging by this room's layout, this place was a laboratory. We should find a repository of research documents if we keep going. The file room will definitely give us some clues, mm. so let's go take a look. Maybe we can piece together what happened here. The mechanical crab stands in front of the machine as if it's thinking about something. Is he linking his consciousness into the crab? See, there's another, like, this kind of lane line tank just sitting here. Oh. Pipes continue further. There's so many of these stations set up. There are a lot of lab notes, but it would take way too long to read through them all. I found a tape recording used for an experiment. And two based years on its ago. Serial number, it's from two years ago. Tape recording? Yes, the Spontama created a device that visually records experiments and consolidates the final production into a tape. Come on, let's watch it. Hold on, let me figure out how to play the tape. Okay. So there. It's... Ah, okay, this should do it. After inserting the tape, the projector gradually begins to display the recording of the past. Kakata? Percent. Seriously, I look away for one second and you're gone? Oh. There you are. Look here. This is our new home. I, Abatui, will unleash my talents here and Abba amaze Tui. those ancient fossils at the Academia. Oh, oh? he you're might just be. Quite happy. One of Akata, the... Do you know what we're about to do? <laughs> yes, I thought not. Listen up, Kakata. I'm going to make a mechanical life form that can be mass produced. The technology will be unlike anything else that exists. Yeah, so he was from, like, the, the lot that wanted to study AI. I'll use mechanical organs, and electric currents will course through them like blood. A steel cast heart that will beat forever, and a brain of myriad components that can think like mine. Inspiration from the ruins, and the research that the academia had banned. Right. I hope everything can start anew from this place. When you can understand our language and live among us, you will no longer be a boring machine, but a truly living being. It's fine. You will understand. One day, you will understand me. The recording ends here. Karkata is the mechanical crab, right? And that researcher named Abatui? Said he wanted to prove something to the academia? Band research. I remember now. I had a junior researcher named Abatui. He was expelled from the academia for researching mechanical life forms. Junior researcher? Junior researcher? Yeah. Well, what's wrong? Nothing. Baima was just wondering. Yeah. Doesn't Abatui look older than you? Or maybe, like, junior doesn't actually mean their age. It just means the, like, the level of of expertise. He is, but academic progression isn't tied to age. Yeah. I finished my studies a while ago, so subsequent students generally considered me as Thich a Nari is just a, you know, genius. Of course, age can be an issue. For a while, people always dragged me into pictures. I felt like some kind of animal on display. <clears throat> uh, that isn't important. Let's go and see if we can find other tape recordings. I mean, you, you literally do have... Ears, right? This music, it's it's such a a beautiful melody, but it's so sad. Look, look! Paimon found another tape. A date is written on it. Let Paimon see. Oh, it's from a half a year ago. That's quite the time gap. 
I wonder what happened in between. After inserting the tape, yeah. Something happened that... It's rare that you malfunction because of an operational error. Seems that making coffee is still somewhat difficult for you. Or is there an issue with my <laughs> set parameters? Hey, he did make it now. So. Alright, there you go. I'm just even surprised that he was even able to produce coffee. Like, hey, you know, I'm Water impressed. Water enters the key and caused work. it to short circuit, so it couldn't receive signals from the ganglion. Look at me, talking to you like this. You can't understand me anyway, can you? It's fine. I swapped in some new parts, so you should be alright now. Try moving around. Everything in working order? Be more careful next time. We're tight on money right now, so we don't have a lot of parts or power to spare. I do hope he was actually taking care of himself at the time and not just putting all his energy onto his research. That's why he he might have just collapsed there and maybe like the f the final order he gave to the machine was to get more parts so he could re like upgrade him. But now, you know, like his makers just I'm glad. Karkata, did you know? Yesterday, I dreamed that you could talk. Aren't the bunch at the academia always saying things like, Mechanical intelligence is just an extension of statistics. They were blown away when they saw us talking with each other. Too bad it was just a dream. Forget holding a conversation with me. You're so simple that you probably wouldn't even notice if I died. Never mind. I should probably be worrying about next month's power. The recording ends here. After Abatui left the academia, everyone lost contact with him. I have a feeling him. I'm not gonna like the last one. I thought he was so despondent that he gave up on researching mechanical life forms. Instead, he had holed up here and continued his experiments. Paimon doesn't feel like he's a bad person. He even changed out Karkata's broken parts. Why would he mess with ley lines? He mentioned something about the power. Hmm. Let's keep looking around. Or maybe it was the the lane line that he used to power the, th the whole, this whole area. Following the serial numbers, the next recording should be There's here. There's two. The writing is sloppy. Perhaps his state of mind had changed. There's also an undated tape in the wrong spot. Doesn't seem like Abatui put it there. Maybe Karkata helped him with sorting. Hmm, it's hard to say. These are the last two tape recordings. Oh no. Let's watch them. Sorry, Karkata. I was just thinking about something. Today might become a special day. In my recent experiments, oh, no. I successfully gave you a living being's instincts. When you're low on power, or if one of your parts is damaged, you will prioritize your survival command and proactively recharge or replace your parts. That is a very dangerous thing. And today, I did something even this, more dangerous. You sound as hoarse. What did you do to yourself? I've officially activated the third generation ley line extractor. The ley lines will serve as our power source from now on. Conducting research on mechanical life forms requires a large amount of power. Even if I scrimped it saved, the more I have wouldn't last for long. Is this like last resort? I don't know what's driving me to continue with this research anymore. They say that even if it simulates the operation of a living creature's organs, a machine is still an ice-cold tool. I want to prove them wrong. I want to turn you into a living, breathing, and talking being. I'm not talking about anything cheerful, Karkata. Modules for language, emotion, and movement. I've been working my absolute hardest to augment and refine your functionalities. I've never seen an effective response. You are my finest success. But even you can't understand me. All you can do is execute limited responses based on preset commands or keywords. Karkata, I wish you could speak to me, even just once. He's so determined. <sighs> yes, you cannot understand me, so you cannot answer me either. It is what it is. In a few days, I'll sell the failed ley line extractor for some more and continue my experiments. Life goes on, and I have to as well. 
I don't have any other choice. But what happened between now and... This is new. If I place another two control modules here to simulate the brain's thalamus... He sounds like he's just... He sounds like an old man just barely clinging to consciousness. Oh, of course my heart decides to act up now. Why did I cut medication from our expenses? Karkata, come help me. He gave up his <coughs> m medicine. Strange. I feel weak. Yeah, it's because of the ley lines. Oh no, I have to shut down the extractor. Oh. Shut it off. <coughs> if we let them recharge indefinitely... Oh no, he doesn't understand you. Go out of control. Right. I never input a command to shut down the extractor. Oh no. So you don't understand what I'm saying. Oh. In the end, it's just like the academia said. Mechanical life forms only bring danger. My research... Was there any point to it at all? I'm sorry, Kakata. In the end, this I still hard. wasn't able to turn you into a true mechanical life form. I see. So the ley line effluence was an accident. After Avatui's unexpected death, the mechanical monsters were driven by their instincts and continuously drew out power from the ley line extractor. This eventually resulted in severe damage to the ley lines. Then Karkata. Paimon understands. Then why didn't Karkata go hit by the, the other machine? It had like the. Th his command built into him to keep looking for parts because repaired so. is different from the other machines. Right. Structures similar to living organisms, the ability to cry and laugh, and capacity for independent thought. To Abatui, only a machine with these features could be considered a mechanical life form. Perhaps only by building such a machine could he have the academia acknowledge his protracted research. But he's dead now. But if he had slowed down and saw Karkata as a friend instead of an experimental product, he would have noticed. Karkata can't speak. And yet it cares about Abatui far more than it does about itself. What does that mean? You'll see in a bit. But before that, we have a more urgent task at hand. I feel like he succeeded Let's after all. He just never realized it. Th this accompanied with the music. Dude. Oh! Mm, no. I love this transparent flooring. It feels like a maze. I mean, honestly, just any method of abusing the ley line powers you to use it for one's own gains is not gonna end well, to be honest. We've seen what it has done to Dragonspine. We've seen what it done, what it did to the inhabitants of Sumeri Island. This was never going to end well. Abatui, you were so close. This should be the control unit. Oh. Once we turn it off, Whoa. the ley line extractor should also shut down. It's like a big, big button. Without an external force damaging the ley lines, they should start to slowly repair themselves. Oh, but I bet you two are more worried about Karkata. Let's head back. Honestly, Mihoyo does such a good job on their music department. Like, they know how to set the mood, and it's setting the mood right now. I d I'm not gonna like how this ends, am I? Oh, this... Oh, Trying to fix him. He 
doesn't get it, does he? He's... Oh, he's trying so hard. Oh. I'm still not working. Unable to understand the concept of death. However, Has his power it run probably out too? remembers when Abatui replaced its parts when it malfunctioned, and how that restored it to an operational state. It's true that Karkata isn't able to think or understand many topics, but it is like a small child that imitates what adults do. So that's why it kept stealing mechanical parts. But it can't repair its owner. No matter how hard it tries. Yes, but the important thing is that it formed the thought of wanting to repair Abatui. Yeah, so his research worked without him ever realizing no it. No one knows how this thought came to be, but it has even suppressed the instincts that Abatui had installed. He created AI. If it really is as we've predicted. This research truly will make waves in the academia. It might have been possible to achieve this with ancient technology, but no one has been able to do the same with modern tools. Karkata? Karkata? Can you hear Paimon? Tainari says you're awesome! Star responding. It reached its limit. It hasn't recharged this entire time, nor has it replaced its severely damaged parts. It's a miracle that it managed to hang on for so long. I'm going to confirm that the Leyline Extractor has shut down. Come with me. Let them be alone for a while. Before you lies a non-operational Karkata and a lifeless Abatui. Uh. The Leyline Extractor has ceased operations. Good. Traces of Leyline energy are still in the atmosphere, but the effluence's source has been stopped. The purification devices will handle the rest. Moving on, those affected by the ley lines need immediate care. We'll put up an announcement on the bulletin board about the dangers of entering the contaminated region, and for symptomatic individuals to find Kale. Karkata, Abatui's research. According to the Academia's policies, we need to bring everything back. Research materials related to mechanical <sighs> life forms will be destroyed, and Karkata will be disassembled and Do we have away. to report it back? You two should return first. I'll take care of things here. Although we've stopped the source of the effluence, the ley line energy in the air exceeds normal values. Your bodies won't be able to hold up if you continue to stay here. Uh, but... Listen, the Traveler hasn't rested very well, right? Also, it'll take some time to pack up all the research documents. You're not familiar with this research after all, so you won't be of much use here. Tell the Adventurer's Guild that the incident has been resolved, and then get some sleep. We can discuss matters tomorrow. Tihlani marks out Pardis Diha on the map. He oh, and the don't talk about Abatui. The fewer that know about mechanical life form research, the better. All right. Then let's go back to Catherine. <sighs> Just thinking that the protectiveness of Karkata was so strong it overrode his own creator's commands just so he could protect him. Hi, Catherine. Not traumatized at all. So the contaminated region turned out to be a ley line effluence deep in the forest. Things are already getting back to normal. I see. Thank you for your hard work. Once the excess ley line energy dissipates from the air, we should be able to make an announcement for residents to resume their normal activities. This is the stipulated reward. Please accept it. I feel like the Adventure Skill Paramount takes you to a quiet place. Is Karkata going to be sent back to the Academia? I hope not, but... Uh... It's already damaged, but... Paimon feels sad thinking about 
bad at getting disassembled. Oh, then how about we find Tainari tomorrow and ask him not to do that? I mean, Tihanari, I trust your judgment, okay? I, but I hope you won't do that. The Garden of the Academia. Wait a minute. We saw Karkata, the ex these exact white mechanical crab, in the trailer inside this very garden. What does that mean? Shh, keep your voice down. The lilac Daphne, a Daphne of the genus Themeliaceae, has a strong anti convulsant effect, can be made into an anesthetic powder. Mm -hmm. Extrapolating from these two data sets, it would be particularly potent against Piscine species. Hey, make sure you're getting all this down. Alright. Karkata? Karkata? <laughs> oh, I thought I told you all to keep your voices low. Plants aren't afraid of noise, but your shouting is making my ears ring. You, you didn't disassemble Karkata? Why would I do that? According to the academia's Not policies. by his policies, no. So that's why you two barged in like barbarians at this hour. Fine. I suppose I wasn't clear enough about this yesterday. What I meant was, according to the academia's policies, all products of research must be destroyed. That's why we can't let the academia discover that place. So the real reason you stayed back was to clean up evidence. Anyway, the first thing I did was repair Karkata. During my time at the Academia, I took an elective course at the Spantama. Who knew it would prove useful one day? We then buried Abatui together. After organizing the research materials, I kept some as a souvenir. Most of it was burned to hide the evidence. I'm not with the Academia. So what do their policies have to do with me? Good lad. On the other hand, Good I chap. am the forest watcher of the Avidya Forest. I have a duty to protect all life in the forest. All life brought forth in this world has meaning. And Karkata is no exception. If it exists, then it shouldn't be carelessly abandoned or destroyed. <laughs> That's great! Wait, you just said life form. You recognize Karkata as a true living being now? The possibility exists, is all. It's hard to explain Karkata's efforts to repair Abatui. Abatui only left behind a small portion of his research. Who knows how many commands he installed. Maybe a conflict between all those commands resulted in this sort of behavior. From a more rigorous perspective, it is impossible to conclude that Karkata is a real life form. But the possibility exists. I am willing to believe in that. By the way, I'm not interested in continuing research on this subject. Mm. I'm just letting it hang out here because this place is relatively secluded. But as things stand now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make it my research assistant. Are you At sure? At the very least, it can record my experiments. People won't see it as odd. What do you think? <laughs> hey. You found your new... Owner, Karkata. Good for you. <laughs> Early photo. Oh. <laughs> One of the many group photos. Tiknari has the same expression and doesn't seem to be interested in taking pictures. He's photo shy. He's camera shy. That's adorable. When people at the academia included me in a group photo, they would also send me a copy. I have zero interest in group photos, but I also wouldn't just throw them away. I stored them all in a box. After coming back yesterday, I looked through them and found one with Abatui. I gave it to Karkata, and it seemed happy. That's good enough. Hmm. Oh, so at least it's good that it ended it on a. They ended it on a good note. I can see why people would would get emotional at something like that. It's the same as, you know, like a pet trying to rescue, like, its owner in dire need. But its limited capabilities can only do so much. It's like one of those scenes in, you know, the movies. Those are really touching, but... I was almost moved to tears, but I managed to keep my composure this time. But I, I know there will be... There will be scenes in the future just like the ones that made me tear up in Perilous Trail, so... 
that was that was a good quest. That was that was really a good quest. It was very touching too, actually. I feel like just Mihoyo's storytelling has improved a lot overall. I would say ever since after um, Inazuma arc, like their Act Three, where people said it was all rushed and everything, back in the domain, accompanied with the music, that was actually such a sad scene where Karkata was, you know, its very basic functions just wanted to save its owner. It, it, it did what it could, but ultimately, you know, it was, it didn't really, it was, it was still very tragic, but it, I'd say it ended on a good note, you know, Karkata ultimately was kept. And it's even better that it, was, it wasn't in the Academia's hands, or that would not have ended well. Honestly, if they went with the route where, like, it got sent off to, like, the Academia, and then, like, the, the last sound it made while being disassembled, like, as they were getting to, like, destructing its core, was it, like, it started actually talking, that would have been what got me. Okay, but this, this is, this is, this is... I would say bittersweet. One of the very good story quests, actually, you know. It was good pacing, it was a good setting, and the domain was... <laughs> Did you... This is gonna be one of the most prettiest domains I've seen, actually. It's very well designed. Even the music in it was matching the scenery and the pacing of the story, so... Well done, Mihoyo. Well done. Yeah, this was my reaction to Tikhanai story quest. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me let me know uh, about your thoughts in the comments and what you thought about it. I personally thought it was a great story quest, and everyone should really experience it for themselves and get you know a genuine reaction. Thanks for watching my reaction, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, doggles.